The problem with uh, what I have here is this page number changes over time. So we'll write this, we'll instantiate this class once, but then the page number will change when the user clicks the page number. So we need a function that's dynamic that will automatically give us the current page number and set it there so we can use it when we need to. So this function that will update the page number, we're going to, it's going to be a private function. So let's, let's use protected, protected function, update page number like this, or instead what we'll say is get page number. All right, so maybe we don't need page number there after all, right? So what I'll do is I'll just remove that. We don't need it because it's a dynamic value. So what we'll do instead, let's get everything here that requires page number. And let me cut that. So I'll paste that here. So let's make sure that we are doing the right thing. So let me remove all references to this because I don't actually need them anymore. So let me copy that, this here, since we've removed it from the top here. So there's no more reference to that. So get page number. So first of all, we'll get the page number from the get like this, and then say page number is equal to int page number. And then if the page number is less than one, let's set it back to one. And then let's return page number like that. Okay, so this function just gives us whatever current page we are on. So that's better because it's a dynamic value. So all I need to do now is just say page number is equal to this get page number. So this because this function is within this class. Okay, so get page number, get page number. This will return the current page number, which we're going to put in there. And then once we do that, we can use that page number here to create an offset. Okay, so also the offset is dependent on the page number. So that's a dynamic value as well, right? So that offset is also dynamic, just like the page number. So as a result, we don't really need the offset to, uh, to be fixed, uh, or do we? Hmm. Yes, yes, let's see here. The dilemma here is that I want the offset for reading in the, here. That's what I need it for. So once I create that thing, then I can read the offset there. This is why I've added the offset here as public so that I can get it and read it for this location right here. So since those things are done once really when the page go goes down, so I think this is okay for now, okay. So we'll change things as we see fit if they don't work as planned. For now, I think our pager class is done. So let's see what we can do. No, before we do that, this cannot work anymore. So this requires a this at the beginning because we are referring to uh, a function that is in here. So I'll just select all of these, Control D, Control D, move to the beginning and just use this because we're talking about a function that's within this class. Okay, great. So now that we've done this, how exactly do we use this pager class so that you can understand what's going on here? I hope this wasn't too much mumbo jumbo, but uh, just follow it along and uh, you'll see how it works. So here, what we'll do is, I know the limit, I have to supply the limit but then I don't even need to provide the page number. So this code is useless. Uh, all I need now is just to say pager is equal to new pager like this. Okay, now if I want to supply how many uh, items per page, because the default is 10, but here I have four. So it's better to supply the limit here. 
That way it overrides that 10 so that we have four. And now I want to get the offset. So instead of doing all this, all I need to do is just say pager offset like this. Okay, so now it will get the offset from here. This offset, which is that one. Okay, great. And then once I have that, now I can use the offset here and I have the limit. So we have a nice class here going on. But then we want to show some pagination down there. So we're going to use the pager class. So this is now the pager class. And I'll come down to the cells system here and just say pager display like so. And that's it. So this will show us the, uh, the pagination. Mm -hmm. So if I now refresh, you see that looks like nothing has changed at all. Uh, if I silence that, you see that the thing is gone here. I undo and it's back. So let's see if it actually works. First page, uh, page two, page three, next page. Okay, so we have a problem there. Warning undefined variable page number. Okay, so let's go back and see what's going on. If I hover on this, I get the full uh, error down here. It says on line 80, uh, page number is undefined. So let's see here, inside pager, on line 80, where are we? Right there. Oh, okay, so this page number plus one. Okay, so we see that now we actually need a page number. Yes, yes. So what we can do instead is just to get it, get page number right there. We need uh, this right here, get page number, copy. So if I come down here and replace the page number variable with a get page number. Okay, let me just do that. Control D and paste that. So this page number, whatever the page number result, plus one, minus one. Okay. Now the problem here again will come back, the zero problem. So we have to fix that as well. So let me refresh, uh, let's get one, three, next four, next five. So things are working as intended. The only problem is if we go to previous, we, we're going to page zero, as you can see here. But because we put some safeguards, as long as page, whatever number we type in there, if it doesn't fit one, then it just be uh, transferred to one. But at the same time, I don't want to see pages equal to zero in the link. So instead, I have to fix that. So what I'll do here is we can put an if statement right in here. So instead of this minus one, I'll put this in brackets like so and say, or oh, not in brackets, really. All I need to do is uh, what do I do here? Anyway, instead of congesting this part, what I'm going to do is I'll do this. I'll just create a variable called num and then do some calculations right here. So I'll put some PHP tags so that I can have some space to do some calculation. So I'll say num is equal to this page number minus one, like so. And then I'm going to say num now is equal to now if num if num is let's see num is less than one then question mark num becomes one or else it becomes whatever num is like that. So this is just a new statement. So let me put um brackets like that so that you can see this is the condition so if num is less than one okay which means it's zero or a negative number if it's less than one then set it to one if it's not less than one which means it's fine then just give it back whatever number was inside num to begin with and then let's put num there so this solves the problem of seeing pages equal to zero there if i refresh oh Okay, so there's a undefined variable num. Wait a minute, why? Uh, num, 
oh this one is a capital letter i don't know why i put i capitalized it there for some reason so uh, php is case sensitive so okay so if i now click on page previous i get to one i am limited at one no matter how many times i click this it ends at one previous but next goes on to more pages like this okay first page previous doesn't get me to zero so everything is working fine now we have a pagination going on now let me show you the power of this is that the way we've done things here is that no matter which page i go to this is going to respond accordingly you see the link here is different tab is equal to sales if i go to users uh, page here and i want to paginate this section very simple so let's go ahead and try and paginate that, right? So all I need to do is go to, uh, where are the links to, it's the admin page, right? Mm -hmm. So all I need uh, is to copy this new pager. So let's type it uh, by hand. So the first thing I want to do is provide a limit and I want only one, uh, user per page because i want to see more more pages so pager is equal to new pager like this so since this is my limit i can supply it to my pager so that i override that uh, original 10 and then i just need to get my offset now so the offset is equal to within the pager class i just get my offset from there like this and so all I need to do here at the end is just say limit and give it whatever limit variable I have supplied and then say offset and use the offset variable as well, just like that. And just like this, we have our pagination. Only thing we need to do now is to display it, which we can do in our view. And that's the user's view down here at the T, just after the table. I'll put some PHP tags and just say pager uh, display. And that's it. So we have pagination for our users as well. So if I now refresh, you see that this is what I get one user and then some buttons down here. So I can just go next, next, next. See, first, previous, three, next. So as you can see, it's easy to paginate any page at this point using that class system. The only problem is our pagination isn't perfect. So unfortunately, we still have to do one more video where these numbers are updated properly. Because if I go to page four, for example, uh, or page right now on page seven, I should see at least seven in the middle and then the others on the side, maybe six here and four and five. And then here I see two more numbers there. So that's an easy fix, but let's try and see if we can do that.